Hey guys, looking like you're back at the game with another video. So, I've been getting a ton of messages on how to run Melon DS, and I haven't been able to respond to all of you guys on YouTube because I don't use YouTube like that to respond to messages. But I do use my Discord server a lot, so if you do have any messages or any questions about anything with the Switch, just let me know. But today I'll be doing a full guide on how to properly install Melon DS on how you put it on your computer, where you put your files and everything. Because most people are getting errors like they're saying their BIOS is wrong, or they're getting this DS ARM error, or how to add games, how to even launch Melon DS properly without having your Switch crash. Which I did mention a few things on my last Melon DS video, but it wasn't a complete guide. This is going to be like a complete guide on how to do it. Now, well, Melon DS is basically it is just an emulator for the Switch to run DS games. That's basically what it is. And this is my Nintendo Switch here. I have it soft modded, no mod chips or anything, because that's way too complicated for me. But it's a pretty simple thing. Now, most of you guys are saying whenever you launch Melon DS, you're getting an error. Now, here's the thing: if you want to open up any application here. For example, I'm just gonna open up Nintendo Switch Force, but you want to hold down the R trigger. This one right here, the R shoulder button, I mean. Now, if you hold this down, you'll get into this menu. And then if you're in this menu, that's really it. And the thing with this menu is you can actually go back to your home page, do other things you need to do. And also, the main reason you want to open up a game is once your thing doesn't crash too, it's giving it more RAM, more power for it to run properly. So you hold the shoulder button, and as you can see, it just goes here. Now, when you're here, this is what Melon DS is. I'll show you how to install it too, but... Once you have it, you have your games, it works perfectly fine. As you can see, I can load one of my states up or however I want to. I don't use Melon DS that much, but I do use it every now and then. But as you can see, it works perfectly fine for me. And I'll be showing you how to install this. So what you want to first do is make sure you have something called the Homebrew App Store. Now if you have the Homebrew App Store, you just want to launch it. And you should get into this. Now, it might take a second or two to load all the apps and everything. But once you're here, you'll see all this stuff. Now, there are things that are going to need to be updated and stuff. So you might want to do that. And you just want to go and search. And then you type Melon DS. And once you have that, you just press the download button. And then you just download it. should do that. Basically, that's all you do for the download. Now, if I uninstall mine, then I'm going to get some errors and stuff. So you probably don't even want to install uninstall yours. If you do uninstall yours without having anything on it, then it'll be easier. But if you have DS games, you have to first remove every file relating to that. Then you remove from the Homebrew App Store. But once you do that, you may notice that's not going to work out of the box just like that. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have a computer or something like that. Now, what I recommend doing is there's this one app or something where you can use a USB-C cable and that's how you can access data of your SD card instead of fully shutting down your switch. Dude, let me get my USB-C cable and I'll show you how to get to that thing. It's pretty easy. So this is a USB-C cable and my PC is right there. Like you can't see it in the frame but I will make a thing on the PC like screen record and show you what to do on the PC side of things because it is kind of confusing to do it but that's really it. So all you do is just get your USB cable out, and then you just want to plug one into your computer and the other and into your switch like this. That's all you really do. And then once you do this, you'll see it says console battery charging. You just want to hold down the power button. And once you get to this menu, you want to go on power options and then you just want to click restart. When you click restart, it should bring you into the Hakate menu and that's the menu you want to get to. This is where you want to get to. Now, yes, you can take out your SD card, it'll be faster, but some people don't want to take it out so they don't mess up their payloads or anything. And this thing also saves you from stressing your SD card. By stressing it, I mean taking it in and out, it's obviously going to get damaged over time. So all you got to do is just go on tools, and you got to go onto USB tools. And let's see. Or where did it go? Oh yeah, tools, we go into USB tools. I haven't done this in a while. So we're gonna go into USB mass storage. And there you go. You say started UMS and on your computer, you should be able to see your switch folder. Mine says switch SD and that's really all you do. So I'll get on my PC and I'll show you what to do from there. All right, so like when you're in your computer, all you're gonna really need to do here is, this is right here is if you're using the USB-C method, you're gonna be using U 
uh, SP thing with the USB-C connected to your PC. Now what you want to do is you want to come to switch SD right here and all you want to do is just search Melon. It should take a second to load and then you'll see this folder called Melon DS. You want to open up this folder and when you open up the folder you will get this stuff. You'll see Melon DS NRL start and all this stuff but you're going to be missing BIOS 7.bin, BIOS 9.bin, and maybe some other files. You just really need just 7 and 9 to get this started. All you, now what you want to do to get this is, I'll put this link in the video description, but right here you'll see emulation, and this is where you go, it's going to call emugen. So over here, you want to go through here and you want to look for Nintendo DS and DSi, mine's right here, so we're going to click this. Now what you want to do is you want to download your files so we're gonna look for it the nintendo switch one you don't need these we're just gonna keep scrolling until we find the right one now we're gonna need to look for bios 7 and 9 so i think it should be on the top so let's see uh, i'm gonna go back on and clicking on this again and then here you go ds bios files for melon ds so you want to click this link Then when you're over here, you should see BIOS and DS firmware. We're going to just download this real quick. And it should take a second to download it. And we're going to go to our downloads right here. I'm going to open this real quick. And here it is, NDS BIOS firmware. So we're going to right click, show more options, and then we're going to extract to the NDS on its own folder. And here you go. Now, you should copy this stuff over. So we're going to keep this folder here, and I'm going to open up my Switch SD again. We're going to open this in a new window. We're going to go into Melon DS, type this again. Once we open this, now what we want to copy over is your 7 and 9 bin. You want to copy over your firmware.bin. So this is literally all you want to copy over. So once you get these two and then this one, these other ones you do not need at all. So once you do that, you're pretty much all ready to go. Not to add games to Melon DS, it's pretty easy. So you go on Switch SD, and let me look for the folder where I have my games on. So I have it called DS Games. See right here, it's 3DS Games. There should be something called NDS Games or something like that. Here is it. You just make a folder called NDS Games, and you want to make sure it's all in NDS file format. As you can see, these are all the games I have. But once you do that, you just right click on this, and you just press Eject. And that's all really how you do it. So, I'll go back on the camera to show you what to do on the Switch. My configurations for settings so you can run the smoothest, and that's pretty much it. But otherwise, it is pretty easy to do this whole setup. Now, I'm gonna go back on that, so yeah. Now, once you are done with adding the files, what you wanna do is make sure it says disk ejected, and you wanna right click and make sure you did eject it properly. Otherwise, your files might not get transferred properly. So, we're gonna press close. And then for me, how I get into my custom firmware is I go on home, payloads, and I go to fusey.bin. Once I'm here, that's all I gotta do. It should load up into the custom firmware. First, switch OS. And it takes a second to load. So all I'm gonna show you now is how to add your files. So you can also disconnect the USB-C because that's not needed anymore. So let me turn on my switch, unlock it. And now all you're gonna need to do is make sure you always open up a game when you wanna use Melon DS. Hold the R shoulder button. And sometimes it may not work. For example, this time it didn't work, so we're gonna close it. Right click it, hold down the trigger or the shoulder button. And there we go. Now we're here, we're gonna go into Melon DS. And now this is what you wanna do. Your firmware should be good. You should have all your bio settings and everything. So we're gonna go into emulator settings. Now, just copy all this over, whatever I have. So I might keep scrolling. You can pause if you want to. This is really what you want your thing to look like. You want it to be on regular DS, on DSi or anything. Once you have this all done, that's pretty much it. Your display settings, if you want it to look the way I had it, you can use this stuff. These settings you can pause you can do whatever you want to get the settings and your input settings make sure it's just like this pretty much that's all you do for a melon ds setup so let's run our game with mario real quick and it should run pretty smooth audio may lag here and there because that's how it is but as you can see 
it runs perfectly fine for me. So that's what it is for the Melon DS guide. If there's any other guides you want me to do, just let me know because I do need to make more videos soon. But that's really it for a complete guide of Melon DS. If you do have any questions, join the Discord server because that's where I have me and some other people to answer your questions. I really don't answer questions that often on YouTube because I'm not on there that much. But that's pretty much it. Hope you liked the video and yeah, you know if you can subscribe it would help. So yeah.